Welcome to this Doppleximability application video, filmed at the Training Academy in our Cardiff facility. The Doppleximability allows a fast, consistent and easy solution to undertaking ankle brachial index measurements. It is, however, important that attention is given to the following application detail, as although it is a simple test, these finer points may improve the accuracy of your results. The patient must remove their shoes and thick socks. The ability will work over thin stockings or tights and thin shirts. It is also important to remove any compression hosiery. Mobile phones and other electronic devices should be placed at least one meter away from the ability unit to avoid any possible interference. Similar to using Doppler for ABI, it is essential that the patient lies supine, ensuring the cuffs on all four limbs are at an equal height from the ground and are at the same level as the heart. However, unlike Doppler, resting time is not required when using the ability. The patient should ideally lie with sufficient space around the couch so that the cuffs are not compressed against the body or a nearby wall or obstruction. The ability uses a unique two-chamber cuff to measure systolic pressures. The cuff has an upper or proximal occlusion chamber and a lower or distal sense chamber. The upper chamber occludes the vessel and the lower chamber detects the returning signals, allowing four limbs to be measured simultaneously. Position the arm cuff on the right arm with the upper chamber under the armpit and ensure that the white line on the strap is located over the brachial artery. Wrap the cuff around the arm, ensuring a firm fit which is taut but not tight. Position the lower chamber just below the elbow and tighten to ensure a firm fit. It is important that the patient's arms are supported by the couch. If this is not possible, we advise you to ask the patients to tuck their thumbs into their pockets or waistband. Repeat on the other arm, ensuring that the cuff chambers are fitted firmly and that the white line on the strap is located over the brachial artery. Expose the ankles and remove thick socks. Position the ankle cuff on the right leg so that the white line on the strap is over the anterior tibial artery. Wrap the lower chamber around the foot, ensuring it covers the pedal arch. The upper chamber should be positioned just above the malleolus or ankle bone. When necessary, use the infection control sleeves under the cuffs. Take care not to trap any air in the sleeve when applying the cuffs. This can be achieved by sliding your hands up the sleeve. Position the ankle cuff on the leg so that the white line on the strap is over the anterior tibial artery. Tighten the lower chamber first before tightening the upper chamber. Repeat on the other ankle, ensuring that the cuff chambers are fitted firmly and that the white line on the strap is located over the anterior tibial artery. When necessary, use the infection control sleeves under the cuffs. The patient's heels must be supported on the couch and not overhanging the end. To avoid excessive pressure on the ankle cuffs, the patient's feet should not be turned outwards. Check that all the tubes are not kinked or trapped under the patient. It is advisable to inform the patient of the procedure and to tell them that the cuffs will inflate simultaneously. It is also important to ask the patient to remain still and not to talk.
It is important to use the range marker to select the correct sized cuff for the limb. Cuffs are also available for large arms and ankles. Connect the color-coded tubes to the corresponding connectors on the main unit. Press the middle button to start the test. The next screen reminds you to apply the cuffs. Press the middle button again to start the ABI test. During the short inflation and deflation process, do not touch or move the tubes or cuffs. The progress bar indicates the test sequence. Again, it is important that the patient lies still and does not talk. Should the patient talk, cough or sneeze, it may be necessary to repeat the test. If the patient has moved, then it may be necessary to readjust the cuffs. Press the print button to obtain a printout. Remove the paper printout by tearing the paper towards the handle. Review the results and compare the ABIs with the pulse volume or PVR waveforms. If there is a discrepancy, such as an abnormal PVR with a normal ABI, then repeat the test and consider further investigation if necessary. The ability results should be reviewed in conjunction with the clinical signs, symptoms and history of the patient. Any ABI should be part of a holistic approach to patient assessment. No mobile phones in the immediate area. Patient must lie flat. Ensure the cuffs are positioned correctly and that they are firmly applied. Check all tubes are not kinked or trapped under the patient. The patient must lie still and not talk during the test procedure. It is important to use the range marker to select the correct sized cuff for the limb. Always ensure that the cuffs are cleaned with the appropriate cleaning solution. Refer to the instructions for use document for details.